Uh, guys, in this quick tutorial, I will show you how to recreate this concrete paving material in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. To do this, I will show you my material. It's an, uh, a V-Ray advanced material. Simply to create this, create V-Ray bridge, V-Ray advanced material. Where I put my paving concrete texture, this one. In here and with this texture I recreate my reflection and my bump texture by using some uh, filter layer I will show you in a moment the the basic settings as you can see I have mixed uh, this one by uh, 0.9 in opacity mode in normal mode known is uh, equivalent in uh, mode like normal in Photoshop and with a diffuse color brightness of about 80% as you can see I, if I decrease this value or increase this value I increase the, uh, the brightness of my texture for me it's good 90% or 80% sorry this is my basic uh, paving shader. If we launch test render we can see how it's look like. As you can see at this moment it's very flat and also we have a little bit of problem with my UV mapping. To avoid this uh, in a spherical object like this we must go to our sphere in the texture tag and play with the settings as you can see I have just played with this and you can start to, to reshape it in a better mode normally this kind of texture is applied on a flat surface so you don't have to do this kind of things but also with the planner mapping it's work very well okay return to our picture viewer as you can see our test render this texture is more is good but we don't have any kind of realism in, on it to bring some realism to this texture we must use a bump map and I will show you in a moment what it looks like by reducing the, the strength of my diffuse layer and see what happens in our render. As you can see, with a good map, we can. Uh, um, simulate a, a, um, a relief uh, um, some imperfection on my surface that brings out our details and by mixing this map with uh, the diffuse and a specular map we can create a very good result stop the render I will show you how I created this map. Simply I use the my basic uh, texture, this one, put it on the texture uh, folder on the map, on the BAM map, and apply to it a filter by desaturating it and play a bit with lightness by adding a 5% more, and my clipping. As you can see the clip can bring out by uh, increasing long clip and decreasing very very uh, more um, the eye clip we can obtain this uh, black and white map with high contrast with only the um, the separation from the concrete blocks in evidence that's bring out this kind of map 
I have increased a bit the amount to 2, per, uh, two cm to increase a bit the effect of my uh, bump map. This kind of map uh, can be also used with uh, the, um, a displacement material to create um, a more realistic but more, more uh, heavy to calculate uh, material. For complete this material I will also activate my specularity as you can see here increase a very good material the realism of this kind of clay material sorry and simply I copy the the bump filter and play a bit with these settings by decreasing the contrast now I will show you how to its work how it's work with BAM map. As you can see, it changed a bit the specularity of my map by adding some contrast to my texture I really like this and it's create a more uh, opaque concrete uh, results that I will that it's what I want to my shader this kind of concrete shader by activating my diffuse map 0.9 we can obtain now our final material as you can see by compare with only the diffuse map it's more realistic I have some uh, good um, variation gives me by the bump and the specularity like here and in the, the border and that is in, increase the, the, oh, the wall contrast of the, the shadow and give me a, a very good results for a basic uh, use in uh, exterior and interior materials and and it's good for me. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye!